Welcome. Something remarkable may have happened today in that we saw the possible start of Solar Cycle 26, and we're not even halfway through Solar Cycle 25 as yet. So let's take a look at what actually happened and decide whether this is just a random event or a harbinger of something to come. Well, this is a picture of the sunspots taken today. You see we have a large number of sunspots on the sun at the moment. In fact, this picture doesn't show all of them. Now, what would you say was the most remarkable feature here? Perhaps that large spot down in the left-hand corner, but it isn't. It's this guy down here, these two little spots down there. Now, why are they so remarkable? Because they're different from all of the other spots on the sun at the moment. And let's take a look at why that is the case. If we take a look at the polarity of the region, the magnetic polarity, you'll see that positive polarity is leading in this spot group with negative following. Now this is in the southern hemisphere where it should be exactly the other way around. You see all the other regions here have a dark area, negative polarity leading, and positive area, white, following. And that's the way this has been for this whole cycle so far. But now we have this odd man out that's just appeared. Now, that could either be the remnants of the last cycle, but this is at quite high latitude, so that's very unlikely. Or it could be the beginning of a new cycle, which starts at high latitudes and goes towards the equator. Now, it's not unheard of for reverse polarity regions, which is what this is called, to appear during the previous cycle. But usually it's only a few months or maybe at most a few years before the minimum, not during the rise or the peak, of the previous cycle. Well, let's take a look at the timing here. We have a plot of the sunspot number for the last 13 years showing on the left, solar cycle 24, and on the right, the beginning of solar cycle 25. The peak of solar cycle 24 was in April of 2014, shown here with the blue arrow. The minimum between solar cycle 24 and 25 occurred in December of 2019. That's generally considered the beginning of solar cycle 25. However, it's not unusual for a few sunspot regions from the next cycle to appear before the old cycle is completely spent. And the first recorded sunspot for solar cycle 25 was recorded here in December of 2016, three years before the minimum between solar cycles 24 and 25. Now, if this region that we've just looked at is actually the first region for solar cycle 26, that would be here. And that is remarkably early. So I'm a little uncertain as to why this would be the case. Well, let's compare what happened in 2016 with what's happening now. You can see we're in the decay phase of solar cycle 24 here with only a few sunspots on the sun. But here in the bottom right hand corner of the sun, there is a reverse polarity region. In the south, in this cycle, positive was leading, white was leading, and negative black was trailing. Notice that that region is exactly the other way around. So what do we have here in 2023? We have a region, as I said before, with positive leading and negative trailing, and all the other regions in that hemisphere are the other way around. So it is a reverse polarity region. So let's compare the two phenomena. First spots appears for solar cycle 25, eight years after solar minimum, 32 months after the maximum, and 36 months before the solar minimum between solar cycles 24 and 25. None of that's particularly surprising. And if we believe that this region is part of solar cycle 26, that's three years after minimum, is 12 months before solar maximum at least, probably more like 24, and it's 72 months before solar minimum, again, uh, probably at the very least. What it does have in its favor is that it's high latitude. The latitude of the region shown in, for solar cycle 25 was 23 degrees south. This one is 27 degrees south. So that at least is consistent. A number of possibilities spring to mind. Is this a solar cycle 26 region? If so, it's starting very early. It could always be the case that this has happened in other cycles and we've just simply missed those regions because we don't have such comprehensive observations as we do now. 
That would seem unlikely, but nonetheless, it's still possible. The other possibility is that subsurface magnetic fields randomly twisted, and we've got one region that popped up that temporarily, at least, is the reverse way around. But at the moment, it's showing no sign of writing itself and going the other way around. Whatever happens, we will be seeing more reverse polarity regions as we get closer to the transition from solar cycle 25 to solar cycle 26. But as I said before, that has literally been in the last uh, year or two of the solar cycle, not this early. So we may have discovered here a new phenomenon, how early the next cycle starts to appear, though I think this is probably unlikely in this case. Anyway, for the next few years, it's going to be fascinating to watch the growth of solar cycle 25 and when there are more reverse polarity regions starting to appear. So until then, stay safe and goodbye.